what struck me first about um, getting involved with this is that it's a National Historic Landmark and it's been a National Historic Landmark since uh, 1989. It, uh, at the point that we took it over, we knew that it was the queen of the fleet. This is, uh, this is the bunk room for the, the engineers. The engineers stayed on the boat 24-7. Um, they basically um, did odd jobs and they um, kept track of the systems on boat, like the boiler. Um, this right here is is the heart of the firefighting system. Right down in here is, um, is what they call the water tunnel. There's a 27 inch pipe down below us and this valve has an opening on the bottom and then it has two openings on either, one on either side. So the chief um, engineer would be stationed here and um, he could run the whole boat from here basically. The only exception is he couldn't steer it. When it came out of the shipyard in 1938, it was the most powerful fireboat in the world. The fire department did not want to see this boat become, um, well, they didn't want to see it salvaged, first of all. They didn't want to see it get cut up. They didn't want it to go on to be something like somebody making it into um, a houseboat or a bar or anything like that. Because it had such a historical significance and it, and it meant a lot to the guys that worked on it. I feel a, a tremendous responsibility, you know, and taking on a national landmark even made it, I think, more difficult because it was like, wow, this isn't, you know, you walk away from this, who's going to pick it up?